Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to the second part of my craft with me video where we are making ticket strips, faux tickets out of our long um, scraps of paper. So this is what we made in the first part of this project and I will link this video for you below. And I actually... Uh, I'm filming this video just like a half an hour after the first part so I don't know if you guys even enjoyed it and if you're even willing to see the second part but I thought what the heck I will <laughs> film it anyway. So in the first part we also made these ticket templates uh, out of our scraps so as you can see they have some uh, like circle indentations and some perforations so you can easily tear them and we have worked on this craft paper strip and now today we are going to be working on the book page and on some patterned paper so let me put this aside and if you would like to know how to make these check out the first part and again it will be linked in the description box so what i have here is my tea. <laughs> I have some fussy cut elements from a book and I also have some fussy cut elements from this, I have this beautiful uh, sheet of pattern paper which is like those fussy cut elements that are watercolor flowers and leaves and all that and I just cut some of them and I thought we could play with these uh, as well. So, I think we are going to start with the book page actually, because I like how big these tickets are going to be and uh, I, I just, I'm excited to collage on them. So let me first take my Walnut Stain Distress Ink and ink up the edges of these tickets. I like to do it before we start collaging because uh, it's just easier this way and again I said it in my previous video but I'm using walnut stain to make my project look more grungy uh, it's it's darker than the vintage photo so I like it I like the color okay and the third one just a messy Inking, not being too particular about it. All right. So what do we do next? So I thought that for this we could use some of these flowers that I fussy cut from a book. They are so, so beautiful. I hope you can see. Uh, so beautiful and delicate. And small. I chose this particular book because it has some small illustrations. Okay, so let me see what we have here. This is beautiful. Maybe some pink and some of this purple. Okay, I love it. Could actually have maybe two on one like a little meadow on one of those so like this or do I like this more because these are smaller colors okay lovely mm. no maybe oh maybe here okay so we could have this one and I also have like, these are more like a decoration, maybe this one here, okay, I like it. Right, so let me put this aside. So now, for a background, because I wouldn't like to leave it plain like this let's just let's just do sort of the same thing that we've done previously just some music paper ledger paper scraps 
okay so I don't want to cover this here because it's beautiful so I'm I'm just going to have like a thinner strip here maybe like like this here some ledger paper mm -hmm. we could I like the October too although my flowers might cover it <clears throat> okay. maybe like this and then just no I don't like it mm. okay I could have two two sort of horizontal strips here maybe a bit shorter <clears throat> okay so if you guys haven't seen my previous video where I explained sort of my idea behind behind these videos it's it's kind of a new format for me this this like craft with me in a real time sort of thing I was very I wanted to try it for a while but I was very um, like apprehensive about my English and just I was just kind of worried that um, um, that because I'm not a native English speaker it would be too difficult for me but I would very much appreciate your feedback again um, you've heard me say that in the first part but just let me know if you enjoy it if you would like me to continue with these sort of videos because I'm actually really enjoying it okay so I have this wide washi tape which is great I got it from Aliexpress and it has like this distressed grid and I think it would look nice here because it would add more sort of color because the background so far is very neutral and I love this washi tape too because uh, because it's matte the surface is matte so you can actually write over it and you can use it for journaling you can use it to add some journaling spots in Uh, in your projects it's, it's a really uh, really cool like that okay and maybe a little bit down here as well okay so I'm tearing all the edges because I don't like the straight edge too much right I like how this looks <clears throat> And what about the third one? Do I want it up here or do I want it behind? No, I think, actually think it might work like this. Okay, I think I like how these backgrounds are turning out. So let me start gluing, gluing things down and just inking them up so that everything looks cohesive together so I hope everyone's okay um, let me know in the comments how the situation uh, with the virus and the quarantine looks where you where you live because in Poland we aren't allowed to go outside unless we need to to buy some groceries or go, go to a pharmacy or walk a dog we have something very very important to do but we are not allowed to just go for a walk and basically two people un, are not allowed to walk beside each other closer than two meters 
which I mean, it's it's kind of ridiculous in uh, for people who live together because even people who live together and you know like do everything together cannot walk together outside. But um, but on the other hand, I I understand the the measures um, need to be strict because the situation is really serious. So we have nice weather. Uh, it's 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 cold today, but but we had we've had some nice spring days um, this week and and the last week. So on the one hand, it makes it more difficult, you know, to stay at home. But at least when you wake up and the sun is shining, I don't know, it it kind of. Um, it kind of makes things seem like more hopeful. At least this is how it works for me. I'm I'm keeping myself busy because spring is my favorite season and I'm so bummed I can't just go outside and enjoy it and you know look for flowers and flowering trees that's that's always something i've, I've enjoyed very much but um obviously not this year okay and the last one so let me know how it looks where you live do you are you allowed to go outside are you in a complete lockdown? Can you, like us here in Poland, can you go out for groceries? But, you know, not much more than that, really. Okay, so obviously you don't have to ink up everything like I do. I like to do it. Uh, for basically anything, as you as you probably have noticed if you've been following my videos, it just looks more complete for me. Okay, now my glue stick. Okay, so I can start gluing this down, and we will see what else do we need to to make these beautiful. Although. I'm already liking very much how how they are turning out. See how little you actually need to to make a pretty uh, vintage looking background. Really what it took is a few scraps and even if you don't have ledger paper, I'm using a printable uh, ledger from the old design shop. I don't, uh, I'm not lucky enough to, you know, to have um, access to actual vintage ledgers, but I use printable, printable versions and they are awesome and I'm very grateful to people who take the time to scan them and to make them available for us, for the rest of us who don't have uh, the original ones. Right, so this goes here, then this washi type. Mm. How do I like it? Like this, maybe. <coughs> okay, do I want this bigger? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So now, let's see how our flowers actually look when we put them over this background. Okay, I love this. Uh -huh. 
love it too. And this here. Okay, so I was thinking maybe we could add some labels. So I have my uh, ephemera holder here. And I have some of these Tracy uh, botanical text labels. So these are botanical definitions and I've been enjoying using them so much. I think this botany here would look great. What else do we have here? This is maybe too big. Um, what do we have? What do we have? Do I want some blue maybe? Hmm. Maybe it's too blue. Mm, fun. Okay, maybe this one. So you see I'm kind of trying to add these labels as part of my background. Not really I'm not really making sure that the definition itself is, is readable because I don't I don't need it for this project really. I'm I'm trying to to just incorporate them a little bit into into my background. Maybe this oh it's too big. I need something maybe the floral one. I think maybe here. Mm. <coughs> How do I like? I think this edge is too straight. No, I don't. I don't like it. Um, here maybe. Okay, I love it. Alrighty, so these go back to here. Okay, it's beautiful. So I'm thinking I'm going to glue down the labels or maybe, maybe I actually want some cheesecloth under all of these labels. Okay. So, cheesecloth, this, and like I said in my previous video, this is actually like a gauze uh, material. I got it in my local pharmacy a long time ago and I just tea stained it with my papers. Um, okay, where's my wet glue? I just tea stained it with my papers and I'm adding it mm, basically anywhere I can uh, because it adds a beautiful texture. And also some grunginess to my to my projects. Okay, I love it. Okay. Now the flora. And the glue I'm, I'm using, I've had some questions in my previous videos about this glue. It's, it's a sort of a tacky glue uh, type, I think. It's wet, it's white, but it dries clear, it dries very quickly. It's quite strong. It's called Magic. Um, but I think it's, it's a Polish product. So I tried, I tried looking it up on Amazon, but... I couldn't find it. I buy it locally in my craft stores here in Poland, so I don't think it's it's available um, anywhere else really. Um, but it's a good glue. It's it's actually they say it's for 
bookbinders, which is interesting. I'm, I'm not sure if actual bookbinders use this glue, but I definitely love it and I haven't had any issues with it. And I've been using it for ages, really. Okay. Look at this. up here okay so I think we are almost done with these tickets okay let me just check it one last time how how are we looking? Mm -hmm. Okay, I love it. And do I want some washi tape? Maybe, maybe I could actually use some some washi tape to add just pops of colors here and there. Have this green one. Okay, I think I think I like it. So. I'm going to use the blue one mm, for the first one because the flowers are the most blue of all of those and a little piece of this this is such a fun washi it looks like a like a notebook page I really like it okay I like the pop of blue behind there. Do I want some here too? Probably. Um, okay, so I said it in my last uh, video, in the first part of this video, but I'm working here with those ticket strips. I want them to work together well and a good way and a very simple way to do it really is to use like images from the same collection of ephemera or the same book like I'm using here and using some uh, some of the same products um, so here I have uh, those um, those botany um, labels from Tracy I'm using the same style of washi type do I want does this fit hmm. does it match my I don't think I don't have anything else. Um, okay, let me try it. We can always try to cover it up if we don't like it. <clears throat> okay, and maybe some of this green to make it less pink, I guess. <laughs> Okay, like this. Let's see how it looks. Yeah, that's that's fine. That's really nice actually. And here, maybe I want these two greens in two places. Here and and here under my flowers. Okay, and this one, this has like a, um, like a green grid, so it's really nice for any botanical projects. Okay, love it. Okay, and I don't think I'm going to be inking up those flowers, I like them as they are actually. Because because that they are so white in comparison, so light, not white, off white, light in comparison to the background, uh, they kind of pop, and I think I like it actually. So let me glue, start gluing them down, and I haven't decided yet if I want to cut off the excess of those. I probably do because they are they are quite flimsy 
So if something is uh, it's like sticking outside of the ticket, it will probably be um, easily torn because this is such a thin book page, it's not cardstock. So I'm probably going to be cutting off the excess and I'm also probably oops, probably going to be sewing a bit around um, somewhere around those tickets I, I don't know yet where I uh, I don't need to sew actually I think everything is glued quite securely but I like the texture the machine stitching um, gives okay so we actually are able to see this October here which is so nice right so here is a tip I guess for collaging when you are collaging on book pages uh, your background your base is anything but a blank page just look for those elements that you don't want to cover up like I had here this beautiful print um, because it adds value to your collage and it's definitely worth using up what you already have it makes your work quicker and it also gives a beautiful effect okay and the last one this long one goes here okay definitely cutting off these little pieces that are sticking out right and this one here yep love it okay now let me quickly cut those out like that and up here mm -hmm. like this all right oh i love how it looks i have these sorry <laughs> i have these little ones i don't know if i want to use them maybe somewhere here or would it be too much Hmm. It might be too much, really. Mm, no, I think we're good. They are going to be used for another project. Okay, so let me pause the video, go to my sewing machine, just stitch randomly here and there, and I will be back in a minute. Okay, so I'm back with the sewing tickets. And I love how they turned out. okay aren't these just so gorgeous i love how they look and you can use them you can use them for so many things you can rip them out use them as stack spots as embellishments as pockets really because these tickets are quite large i, I love i love them mm, okay <laughs> so happy with this all right and now we have we have this patent paper and of course you know this is a beautiful patent paper and you can make the ticket template sort of like we did in the last video with the perforations and you can just leave it as that because it's already beautiful but um i want to do something with it i want to have some fun with it really oh, it's so beautiful on the back too but this background, I love the color. I love the, um, the color of the flowers. And so I thought we could use these fussy cut elements. And you might think it's, it's a bit crazy because they are big and they are going to cover up most of this. But I'm using this pattern paper as my background only. But look at this, guys. 
I think they just work so well here with um, with those colors. Maybe like this, and like this, with the colors of the flowers and the colors of the background. And I think we could actually leave them hanging um, over the tickets because this is cardstock, so this is not going to to be like destroyed very easily. I like it. I don't like this one. I think I want to fussy cut it maybe a little bit more. Like I want the, the shape is bothering me. I think. I don't have a like, good fussy cutting scissors, so I'm using my big ones. <laughs> but yeah, it, they, they work okay. So I think it looks beautiful. Now what I think we have to do is to tune down the background a little bit because it's busy and the flowers are so busy. So what we could do is maybe we could use some book pages for this one let me see what i have here oh my goodness so many scraps <clears throat> so i have this no i don't like the color of this one how about this or maybe maybe this one yeah, I think I still have more of this. I do. I do. Okay. I'm thinking this one because the the space be, um, between the flowers is white. So I would like somehow to lighten up the background. Okay, so let me see what I can do here. I'm just tearing pieces out because I don't want the straight edges as usual. Okay. Okay, I love it. Um, so here maybe this make look nice. Let me tear it like this. So again, even when I'm looking for pieces for my uh, for my background, I'm just I'm just looking for for elements that I like on these book pages. Like again, I love this element here. I love the the May here on this one. How does this look? Okay, I love it. And of course you may think we are covering too much of the background, but again, this is my choice. Um, I decided to cover it up because it's still showing enough to To work with the flowers and to work as a background really okay i love this all right now here maybe we could have some of this maybe like this okay yep Okay, this is still too tall, but it's not a problem. All right, and here's something. I like this April as well. I'm doing spring journals, so that's why I'm, I'm looking for the, those uh, spring months names. Let me see how I could incorporate this 
April, so it would have to be here, which I think it could it could work. Okay, yeah, like this. Okay, right. Clean up some of these tiniest scraps, and the rest. I'm keeping the rest because I'm obviously keeping all of my scraps, or almost all of my scraps, and that's why my scrap box is growing all the time. Okay, so let me see if I have any labels that I could use. I have my little container of ephemera that I haven't yet um, moved to my um, to my to my book that I made. Mm, I have labels here. Maybe like this. This is a bit big. Hmm. This is a bit too big, maybe. I might have some stickers. Some sticker labels that could work. Okay, let me check and I'll be back in a sec. Okay, so I have a few sticker, label sticker packs here and we may be able to find something that works. I don't really want anything sort of too big because I want the main focus to be the flowers. So maybe here... No... Oh. <clears throat> this could work, I think. Mm, let me see. Maybe like this. Okay, I like this actually. Do we have more small ones? No, we don't. But maybe. Okay, maybe here. No, oh, there's something. So maybe, 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 maybe this one, yeah, okay, I like it. So it's not a lot of space, but it's still enough to like write a date on your page. Or just a tiny, tiny little note. And it also looks nice as a part of our, our background. Okay, I need one more. I hope I can find one more like this because it actually works well. Hmm. Hmm, maybe I can use the same one. Don't want to cover the April. Okay, I think, or maybe, like this will go here. Here, so maybe I could add it sort of here or even under, do I want it under the April? Hmm. I don't know, maybe not. Maybe I want it up here and then like this. Yeah, that's what I want. <coughs> okay. So we have our labels and we have our background pieces. Don't think we actually need to add much more to these. Um, okay, so now let me quickly ink up the edges of those book pages. And I think I'm going to be inking up the flowers as well, sort of like messily inking them up just so that they are not so stark white in comparison to, to the rest of it. So just 
just a little bit over the top and over the edges to get rid of this of this whiteness okay I like that <coughs> not using too much ink I'm actually mostly using what I already have in my blending tool for for those flowers and I want to ink up the labels as well just so that everything looks cohesive guys working on if you are if you're using this quarantine time for crafting what are some of the projects that you are working on I would love to know I'm always like interested in what, what other people are making creating um, I'm always looking for inspiration as well I'm actually currently working on six spring journals they are going to be so fun because they are going to <clears throat> be a slightly different size from what I usually make. Uh, and they will have beautiful, beautiful book pages. You guys will see, I chose a book uh, that inspired this whole collection. And it's so full of gorgeous watercolor nature illustrations. And yeah, I just knew I had to make... A journal with it and um, of course being me I can't I cannot just make one journal at a time I had to make six <laughs> um, but they are so lovely I, I like them a lot and I hope you will too I should have them finished soon and up in my Etsy shop so keep an eye on that okay so I think we can start gluing pieces down and for the background pieces for those book pages I'm going to be using just a glue stick but I think I'm going to use um, I'm going to use wet glue for for those pieces for those flowers because they are quite thick and I don't Trust my glue sticks to to work well with um, cardboard. Okay, so this is lovely. Now, how I how did I want this to go like this? I'm thinking. Okay. So yeah, so let me know what your projects are, what you're currently working on, what you're currently creating. Or maybe if you are not crafting, maybe you are, I don't know, cleaning, organizing, reading, uh, watching Netflix, doing all the things that we usually don't have time to do on our regular schedules. but. But we do have some some more time right now, don't we? So we can just um, catch up on our reading and on our TV series. <laughs> yeah, but like I said, I'm I'm crafting a lot. I feel um, even when I'm watching, <clears throat> I'm like. Um, fussy cutting or cutting ephemera, something like this. Uh, so yeah, crafting a lot these days. Okay, I think we are almost done here. I need this like that and maybe slightly higher. Fine. Yep. Mm -hmm. And this label. Mm. 
like that maybe yeah you can cut off the excess here Alright, so now, now let's take a last final look. Do we actually want something, something else on these tickets? Do we want some washi? I don't think so. I will add some stitching just for some more decoration, but I don't think we actually need much else. So we can glue our our flowers and I need to sort of try to do it so that I don't get glue everywhere because they are going to be sticking out of those tickets of course so I have to be kind of careful about which parts I'm gluing Okay, um, this one, maybe, yeah, that's fine. Mm -hmm. And the last one. This two, mm -hmm. making sure our April is still visible under the flower. Now let me check on the other side. How is it looking? Is everything? Does everything looks glued down? Okay, we have some glue here. Um, I, we can clean this up later but yeah basically it's all good all good I love love how how this turned out and even those even though for example this flower kind of overlaps the other ticket uh, it's not glued down here so when you tear the tickets out when you want to use them separately it's just going to be this ticket with a little bit of overhanging flower so I think that's that's great okay so let me go to my sewing machine let me do some stitching here and there and I will be back with you in a second okay so I'm back and here you can see just some stitching that I did just for decoration really and um, I think these turned out gorgeous I really like them and yeah so this is the finished product pr product project um, this is the first one that we did today uh, then this here is the one that we made yesterday uh, in a previous video okay and I have two more so these were sort of my prototypes I, I was just trying out so these turned out like this and I is this focusing yeah these turned out like this and I I really like them too so like this okay so I enjoyed this project so much and I also enjoyed making a video sort of this way so again if you could please leave me a comment uh, leave me your feedback just tell me what you thought if you liked it and if you would like to see more videos like this like in this format sort of chatty craft with me seeing my whole process without editing too much that that would be very helpful so thank you so much for watching and um i hope you are well take care guys and see you soon in my next video bye